Okay, so uh, good day, everyone. This is uh, Mayor McMarion. I'm here with my colleague, uh, Deputy Mayor Lazo. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Friday the 27th. I uh, just wanted to come back in front of the folks again, our residents, uh, to fill them in on some inf more information with this COVID-19. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot going on, more so than I think a lot of people realize. Uh, not only do we have all hands on deck, and I mean that from the standpoint of our township committee, but as well as the rotational basis that we have with our employees of the township. Um, but let me quickly move to or pivot to uh, where we are with uh, some information. Um, the health department uh, reports that Warren Township is currently at 11 cases. So my reverse uh, 9111 call, one case was confirmed. We actually had, at the point we thought we had 12, that was not confirmed to be a case, so we're at 11, so that's some good news. Um, at this point, the ages seem to be between the uh, 28 and 66, where uh, most folks are affected. Uh, the health department is continuing to follow up with all confirmed cases, and we are not aware of any hospitalizations at this point, which is good news. Um, Mr. Lazo, I'll give it to you at this point. Yes, Mayor, thank you. And again, everybody, um, we hope that everyone is safe and healthy. Uh, I just want to touch on some some highlights and from some of the businesses in town as many of you may know the mayor and I have visited several of the businesses grocery stores restaurants pharmacies in town to get an idea of, of what they may be doing to help our residents and our businesses uh, but I'll first start off with um, Edgewood pharmacy uh, they are providing curbside delivery for prescriptions only so they will come out uh, Walgreens has said the same thing they will also provide curbside delivery for prescriptions uh, but only if there is a credit card on file uh, of course they don't want the exchange of money if at all possible so both Edgewood Pharmacy and Walgreens will provide curbside delivery uh, we we then uh, we then traveled to uh, Kings and Acme and Abarty Farms uh, they uh, Kings and Acme are reporting that meat and produce are available there uh, but there are occasional shortages for dairy paper products and over-the-counter medicines and they are putting some restrictions on how much you can take. Obviously, we've heard about the toilet paper situation, and, and they're limiting that uh, to uh, 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 you know, single, single packages per person. Um, Barty Farms will also provide um, curbside service. Uh, they are, um, they are uh, fully stocked at this point, and we were happy to report out on that. Uh, the grocery stores are requesting that residents bring their own gloves and hand sanitizers to shop in order to protect themselves. Uh, they, it's interesting because they are um, all washing their carts every hour, and the store managers are uh, cleaning much of the uh, produce area and uh, frequently touched areas within their grocery stores. Uh, but they do encourage our residents to, if you're, if you're still a little unsure, to please bring your, your own rubber gloves. Uh, carts, as I said, are being sanitized according to the CDC guidelines, and they are following that. Signage has been posted to remind shoppers to practice social distancing, and flooring has been marked with tape. We walked into the establishments. There, there is masking tape on the floor uh, at six feet increments at all of the registers. Um, in addition to that, I, I, you know, I, I just want to go out of my way to thank our pharmacies and grocery stores for working closely with us. They are in constant communication with both the mayor and myself and our OEM director, Jane Ash. Um, I, I want to highlight, as I did last week, that the residents are strongly encouraged to patronize our local restaurants. Uh, again, if you're unsure about going to the grocery stores, even though they're, they're, they're controlling the crowds a little bit differently now, a little bit better, and the social distancing has improved. Uh, they are open uh, to give you some ideas. Uh, many of them, Alfie's has a 10% discount, uh, uh, discount on takeouts. Sally G and Cafe or Jira also offering 15% on takeout, and all of them are offering curbside service. So again, let's, let's patronize the restaurants. We're going to want them when we come back. Uh, our Office of Emergen Emergency Management is following up with our long-term stay facilities and providing assistance to our senior citizens. And those are our homebound. So far, so good. Nothing to report out on those. Everything is, we're, we're checking on them on a regular mm -hmm. basis. And um, all is well with, with the long-term facilities. Um, residents 
in our vulnerable population who are in quarantine or isolation, you can email our emergency management personnel at oem at warrennj.org. And again, that is also on our website. But again, vulnerable population, if you are in quarantine and isolation, you can email oem at warrennj.org. The OEM does have trained volunteers that will shop and deliver groceries to these residents. You know, obviously there's been some discussion about pharmaceuticals. We have to be very careful right. about that. There's laws that are around uh, delivering pharmaceuticals and, 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 and having people deliver them for you. Um, so we've got to be careful with that, but they will shop and deliver groceries. I know, Mayor, that you've had some conversation with the <coughs> folks at, at the, the Warren Township Forum. Right. You may want to comment right. on that. So, um, and yes, I mean, it's, it's just wonderful to hear how many people, uh, not only on the forum, but around our town that have reached out to us uh, and OEM have just poured all of their efforts uh, into wanting to help each other. And I can't tell you how rewarding that is just from our elected status, um, because it keeps us going, working harder. But more importantly, it's helpful to the residents um, to know that there are people out there that are willing to help. We have to have these guidelines, but I think uh, as I've said to uh, Mr. Morrison uh, and Judy Weinecker at, at that run uh, the forum, at this point I think it's probably best to speak to neighbors, reach out to them, speak to them. There's an emotional uh, part to this that people perhaps don't see right now, but they will, um, because this is gonna be a more, it's gonna be a longer event than, than we see. So checking on them, being part of society, our community, is really important. Um, at this point, too, if you notice that Kevin, our, uh, health, uh, Kevin Sumner, our health official, is not here with us. He's being stretched because he has uh, <clears throat> responsibility for many towns. He did ask me to impart a little bit of information here that every uh, resident should be doing the very basic things here uh, that we all are kind of almost tired of hearing, but it, it's worth reiterating. Stay at home. Do not go out unless you need to. That means for pharmacy, uh, pharmaceutical uh, th needs or uh, foods, gas, but do your best to stay at home. I'm reminded of the fact that we were, uh, I'm going to say, we were ahead of the curve with respect to our sports groups on uh, March 12th, or I think prior to that, um, limiting the groups. Uh, and also then going to our emergency declaration and matching that with all our residents. We will not hesitate to add to that if we can, um, because we're really stressing that people please stay home, please be mindful of the declaration, but more importantly, you're doing this for your families and everybody else in the town, and we will get through this. Uh, so some of the things that Kevin talked about is, again, stay at home, wash your hands, especially if uh, going out or, or coming in contact with different surfaces. Do not touch your face. We all do it. Um, I see people in the audience doing it now. It's just <laughs> habit. But try to the best of your ability not to do it. Um, wash your hands and tell your family to keep doing it, especially children. Um, avoid the contact. You can see Mr. Uh, Deputy Mayor and I, I think we're six feet apart. <laughs> we're practicing this. It's not easy. We're all social people, so we want to engage. Uh, but it's important to do. Uh, most importantly, get your information from credible sources such as CDC uh, at uh, coronavirus.gov and the, the state health department at corona19.nj.gov. It's extremely important. There's a lot of misinformation. Uh, be informed, but also get outside and don't spend all your time on all these media outlets because it, it can become really overwhelming. We know it. We see it. We feel it. Um, so please practice getting outside, exercise, get to the shed and clean it out, you know, do some lawn work. We have, we're blessed to have really terrific weather here in March, which is great. Um, on another note, the Warren Township Police Department and Township officers, uh, offices are available to assist, as I've said in my reverse 911 call. We're here for everybody. We are here for you. We will support you. We will support the families. To those that are sick, get better. You will get better. Stay positive. We can support your families. Reach out to us through OIM if need be, and we'll, we'll get through this. Again, not a time to panic. Something we need to get through, and we will do so as a township. Mayor, if I may say, if I may add to that before your closing comment, uh, for those that are watching, and, and uh, please note that we are working very closely. Mick and I speak to each other 
several times a day. Um, I'm sure he's probably tired of hearing from me. Yeah. Mick has assigned very, very, um, very smartly assigned each of us on the township committee our own respective assignments. <clears throat> So our, our, our colleagues, Vic Sardillo and Yola and, and Gary Donardo are all engaged with Mr. Mr. Marion as well. Um, you've put together a very good plan, and I appreciate the continued communication. And um, rest assured, we're working hard on your behalf. Well, thank you, Deputy Mayor. And, and then I would be remiss if I didn't state the same. This is not something that I can do alone. It's all the township committee members are working in unison. Uh, OEM, police, uh, EMS, f uh, just everybody, which is wonderful. So when we hear that there are residents out there that want to help even more, it gives us a nice boost too to do all the more we can. And I've stated this many times, especially during our first meeting when all this came together, I think on the, on the 12th of March. We're not going to panic. We will get through this. Everybody needs to work together, have to have some compassion and some realistic expectations that none of us have gone through a pandemic but we will get through it, okay? So thank you, and have a good day. Have a good day.